a glass of tap water should never be a health risk. But across India's cities, it is quietly turning deadly. In the last 12 months, contaminated pipe water has sickened more than 5,500 people and killed at least 34. These cases were not reported from remote villages, but from some of India's biggest cities and state capitals. Between January 2025 and January 2026, outbreaks linked to sewage contaminated tap water were reported in 26 cities across 22 states and union territories, including 16 state capitals. Diarrhea was the most commonly reported illness, followed by typhoid, hepatitis and prolonged fever. Across cities, investigations pointed to the same cause. Sewage entered drinking water pipelines because of old age, corrosion, or poorly laid water pipes, which run dangerously close to sewer lines. Even a small crack or drop in pressure allows sewage to flow directly into household taps. In many cities, water pipelines are decades old. In Delhi alone, around 18% of water pipes are over 30 years old, according to the Delhi Jal Board. This crisis is no longer linked to the monsoon months. A review of at least 34 reported incidents over the past year shows that sewage contaminated pipe water has become a year-round urban problem. In just one month between December 2025 and January 7, 2026, at least 19 people died and more than 3,500 fell ill after consuming contaminated tap water. During this period, at least 11 outbreaks were reported from cities including Patna, Raipur, Bengaluru, Dehradun, Gandhinagar, Guwahati, Jammu, Rachi, Indore, Chennai and Gurugram. The scale of the crisis became clear in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. On 31st of December, residents of Bhagiratpura fell ill after drinking tap water. By the 6th of January, at least 17 people had died and more than 200 were hospitalized. Officials later confirmed that sewage had entered damaged drinking water pipelines. But Indore was not an isolated case. In Gandhinagar, Gujarat, more than 150 children were admitted to the hospital with typhoid. In Bengaluru, several households reported diarrhea and stomach infections. In Patna, residents say tap water is so polluted, it causes itching on contact. In Raji, civic officials have identified more than 300 damaged pipeline locations. Even Guru Gram, a city known for its modern high-rises, reported illness among 60 to 70 residents with severe hospitalizations. Municipal corporations are legally responsible for the supply and safety of drinking water. State agencies manage infrastructure and health surveillance, while national standards are set by central ministries. Yet, responses remain largely reactive, stepping in only after people fall sick. This raises serious concerns about governance and accountability. Safe drinking water is recognized by the United Nations as a fundamental human right. Despite years of investment under urban water missions such as Amrut 2.0, safe pipe drinking water remains out of reach for millions. Government data shows that fewer than 10% of surveyed cities provide 100% clean water. With more than 40% of India's population expected to live in cities by 2030, pressure on old water infrastructure systems will only increase. But the city of Puri in Odisha has shown the way by delivering round-the-clock safe drinkable water with upgraded infrastructure and monitoring. Without similar action across India, outbreaks of waterborne diseases and even deaths from drinking a glass of tap water may continue to haunt urban India.